I'm buying the entire Off-White the 10 collection with just a $20 bill. Well, not exactly. I'm buying and trading and selling things that I pick up with this $20 bill in order to get the entire Off-White the 10 collection, which by the way, I'm estimating to be around 15K. Didn't realize it was that much when I first started this series, but that's where we're at. So we start off the week with a bank total of $193.05. The first stop this week is Ross. So we're here at Ross looking for steals and deals. First thing I'm finding is this pair of Giannis for $49.99. Probably not worth it. We got some Hoka hiking shoes, some Pumas, a bunch of Vans. I always see Vans here, but none of the good colorways, unfortunately. Got <laughs> some rainbow Crocs in a huge size. What else we have here? Some flame Vans. Actually, I know I was just saying you don't see any good uh, Vans colorways, but got some Vans that are fire. Whew. Fire, I don't know. Hold up, we got some Adidas 4Ds. 40 forwards for $59.99. This might actually be a pickup. Let me check these guys out. What size? Size 11, that's actually solid. Oh my gosh. We're definitely checking these guys out. So it's a women's size 11. So it's actually a, a men's size what? Nine and a half? So it's almost my size. There are a couple sold listings, but nothing like major. They do usually go for more than this though. So I'm tempted. I'm gonna put them back for a second, but I am tempted. Not gonna lie, we got some Hoka's over here too, which are actually pretty clean, which might be worth a pickup. Which I think like crazy though, like any Jordans or any like, not really. I'm not gonna do it, there's not enough sold listings for those Adidas, so I'm just gonna leave them, because it might take forever to sell. Ultimately, I didn't find anything at Ross, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, most times I go to Ross, I don't find anything. But there was a Plato's Closet a little bit farther down the road that I hadn't been to in a while, and I figured, yeah, why not check it out? You guys have been kind of giving me crap about not buying enough stuff, which I totally understand. The last episode, I didn't buy anything. And you can't really earn more money by not buying anything. So in order to speed up this series and also make you guys happy, I'm just going to start buying a lot more stuff. Um, I'm obviously going to try and make sure that they're good buys and not buys that I regret later. But I am going to try and buy as much as possible and then flip it as quickly as possible. So okay, so they have a lot here, which is great. That means we can probably find something worthwhile. But I haven't found it. Oh, wait, hold up. No, I haven't found it yet. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I thought that was Chick-fil-A logo, but no. Kyrie. Actually, hold up. We've got some Jordan 1s in really good shape for 45 bucks. This is probably a pickup. I'm going to check these guys out really quick, but I'm going to carry them with me because I don't want anyone else to grab them. Okay, so a good amount of these Defiant Jordan 1s sold. I remember when these dropped in 2019, no one was that stoked on them. They are selling. They're just selling for accepted offers. So I don't actually know what the final sale price is, but... Everyone seems to list them around 100, so I'm gonna go with that. And I think we can make a profit here, so I'm definitely grabbing these. Wow, the women's section is going crazy. We've got these dunks right here for how much? 45, that's not a bad price. Check these guys out. I saw something else too, I saw these guys. These dunks right here for 30. A little dirty on the outsole, but not too bad. We got hairs right here in women's size, 65. Man, some really good stuff at this Play-Dohs. Some 13s sorts of good stuff this one's tough because there's not a lot of pairs listed for over 45 but i think it's worth the risk so i'm gonna grab it i'm getting crazy today it's got some snakeskin 11s pretty cool for 45. we got some other nike dunks over here for 40. what year are these these are i'm not sure exactly the, the year yeah so these aren't really worth anything well i haven't seen these lifestyle kds in forever they did not do well i had a pair of these i ended up getting rid of them quickly Got some 12s, got some New Balance 990v5s. I think I'm good. Hey, not bad. Made out like a bandit. All right, we found some sneakers at Play-Dohs. I'm glad that I finally grabbed something. It's literally been months since I bought anything, which sounds ridiculous, but it's true. I hate to admit it. First thing we found are these Defiant ones. These ones we bought for 45. I think, I'm guessing we could get like 90 to 100, but again, that, that is yet to be seen until these actually sell. So we'll wait and see what happens with these guys, but I'm hopeful. I think these had the best profit margin out of the two. And then of course we found this pair of Nike Dunk Highs. It's a women's Nike Dunk High. It's a championship colorway. Um, almost like the UNLVs, but not exactly. Well, no, the UNLVs are gray. No, these are just championship Nike Dunk Highs. <laughs> so these are a women's size eight and a half. 45 bucks as well, spent $90 total. This one I'm more worried about because there was less stuff listed and the stuff that was listed was going for like 60 to 90. So I, uh, I'm not as hopeful with this one, but hopefully we can at least make a profit on that. Um, I took a little bit of a risk, but like I said earlier, I'm trying to take risks in order to, uh, to make profit quickly. So that's the move with these guys. I'm gonna list them on eBay, ASAP Rocky. 
and uh, hopefully sell them as quickly as possible. So a few weeks ago, I was filming a Nike outlet vlog and I found a pair of sneakers that in my head is perfect for the $20 sneaker collection. So while you may have already seen this Nike outlet vlog and possibly seen some of this footage, I'm gonna replay some of it just to give you guys an idea of what I picked up. Let me check the refurbished section because I got a lot of stuff here today, it looks like. You got some shod wares, a lot of those in that colorway. Uh, you got some Air the Schutz. Should I pronounce that? Got some Air Max 97s. Ooh, got some Jordan 1 Mid SEs for 81, usually 135. That's not bad. Ooh, we got a hold up. We got the Halloween Dunk Highs right here for 63 off of 125. That's actually a dope find. I might pick this up. My size, size 10. I could rock it. That's a dope find. You know what? I think I'm gonna grab these because these are clean. I don't think I've ever seen a price that's better than this, even online. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these guys for 63. Now, obviously no box, but still. Honestly, great pickup. So I go to the Nike outlets all the time. You guys know that if you watch my channel and I usually find some pretty decent stuff. However, the stuff that I find while usually a decent deal is never that good of a deal to make it worth it for the $20 sneaker collection, especially when we're working with budgets that are as small as this collection has been up to this point. However, today was different because I found a pair of the Halloween Nike Dunk Highs on the refurbished wall, which means that they're gonna sell for half of retail, which is $63, which is unbelievable. So not only am I buying the shoe for half the retail price of $125, I'm also getting a pair of shoes that I could probably sell for over retail price. And it's honestly a pretty cool pair of sneakers. And if it was my size, I might actually keep it. There is one caveat though, and that's that the uh, employee at Nike forgot to take off the security tags. So technically, if I walk into a Nike store, they're gonna arrest me. It's not that big of a deal. I just have to go back to the Nike outlet and have them uh, take it off. Hopefully not the same Nike outlet that I went to originally, cause that one was like an hour and a half away. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately I cannot sell this until these tags are taken off. I tried with a strong magnet. It's not as easy as it looks. Um, I got a bunch of comments in the last video saying like, oh, just use a strong magnet. I bought one on Amazon, it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> so Nike security apparently is next level. So I just have to go back to the Nike store, bring my receipt and then hopefully sell these guys for like 120 bucks and make like a $60 profit. So our current bank total is $40.05, which is not a lot of money, but we do have three pairs of sneakers in inventory, which I think have some pretty good resale value. And actually we've already sold a pair. In fact, we sold it within two days of getting it. And that pair was the Air Jordan 1 Defiant that we picked up from Plato's Closet for just $45. And I know when I was in Plato's, I was looking at the resale price and I was like, yo, this shoe could probably sell for over a hundred bucks. But honestly, in my head, I was like, this is a 2019 pair. It wasn't that popular when it first came out. I think I'm probably gonna end up having to take an offer at like 80, which would still not be bad, but not exactly what I wanted. But uh, I didn't even have to take an offer. I listed it for 105 and it sold for 105. Now, unfortunately the fees were a little bit higher than I would have liked in this instance. I think it's because I also promoted the listing on eBay, which costs a little bit more. So we were left with $90.79. But when you subtract the original purchase price of the shoes, you're left with a profit of $45.79, which is incredible. I'm really stoked on that. We doubled our money and we're able to add $90.79 back into the bank, which means our new bank total is, I need to, Check, because I forgot. Our new bank total is $130.84. So with all this newfound money, I decided to uh, to get a haircut. Well, haircut, then thrifting near the barber. But because I'm an idiot, I decided to uh, make this haircut a lot more difficult by having my barber wear my Apple Vision Pro. Yo, what's good, man? How you doing? Good, good man. Yo, what's up? How you doing, man? I want you to be as comfortable as possible. If it goes bad, it's, just it's take fun. them off. This is fun. Don't be scared. I got you. <laughs> It looks good. Oh, I like it. I'm telling you, there's <laughs> nine <laughs> screens up here. And just only look at it and then click with your fingers, like pinch. <laughs> and if you guys want to see the entire clip and also hear my thoughts on the Apple Vision Pro, make sure to check out my tech channel, which is linked in the top of the description below. But hey, at this point I was feeling myself. I thought I looked great in my new haircut. I had taken off the Vision Pro, so I stopped looking like a jabroni, and uh, I felt like it was time to go thrifting. But unfortunately, no matter how good I thought I looked or how high my hairline was, the next couple stops were still fruitless. Not too bad. Pretty worn down though. But not all hope was lost, because I stopped by Buffalo Exchange and I found something worthwhile. So first thing I'm seeing these Salehis right here, barely worn for how much? 50s, not bad. What size, 10 and a half, I think I saw? Eight and a half, that might be a pickup. Let me check these guys out online. Dang, I really thought these would go for more than 50, but I guess I'll leave them. We got some Nikes, some Sockneys. Uh, I don't know what those are. 
LeBron's for 42. That's actually not a bad price. I'm gonna check these guys out. So I saw a couple listings for these guys, but nothing in that size. So I'm gonna leave them. Are these some of the Dragon Ball Z joints right here? No. Look like it though. We got some Ewings, and then the Air Max slides. That was pretty cool. How much do I want for these? Oops, no price. Hold up, we got some cool gray threes up here. This might be the move for 70 bucks. They are definitely worn, but like 70 might be the move on these guys. I'm gonna check these guys out. Shoot, these might be a pickup. Let's do it. They look like they're in really good condition too, except for the heel drag. No, they're great. Got some Calabasas up here. I think these were here last time I was here though. For 75, it's about what they go for. So I'm gonna leave those. I actually checked them out last time too. So I know that they weren't going for more. But cool to see. Pretty cool shit. So yes, this pair is kind of a gamble. I bought it for $70, which was more than half of our entire bank fund, which currently sits at $60.84. And like I said earlier on in the video, I'm trying to buy as many sneakers as I can because I can't make a bunch of money if I don't buy a bunch of sneakers. And based on my research on eBay, I feel like this pair will move relatively quickly. It doesn't have the box. It is a little worn down on the outsole, but not too bad. It doesn't really smell that bad. I mean, it's got a slight cigarette smell, but I don't know what it is. But most of the pairs of Jordans that I find happen to have cigarette smells on them. But hey, man, we got a lot of sneakers in the inventory right now. We got these, we got the Nike Dunks, and of course, we've got those Halloween Dunks, which I still have to get the security tag taken off of. Haven't done that yet, but I will. And uh, I'm hopeful. I honestly think before the next episode, we'll probably sell all three pairs. Don't hold me to that, but that's my guess. <laughs> But guys, that pretty much wraps up the entire video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this content, and I will see you all in the next one.